Welcome everyone to WMD Underground. The following match is scheduled for one fall and as a match in the tournament to crown the WMD Men's World Heavyweight Champion. Introducing first, standing at 5'7", weighing in at 206 pounds. He is a high flyer from Nevada, Riley Sullivan. And his opponent, He is a powerhouse from Area 51, standing 6 1, weighing in at 271 pounds. Gas! Let's who, who advances in the tournament. Guess starting off strong. And Riley stopping him. Working on the armor ready. And a jawbreaker. They're going out to the outside. Gas picking him up. Right on the apron and then smashing him on the outside. Gas picking him up again. And dropping him on the barrier. That's gotta hurt. Gas destroying him here. Into the steps. Uh, back in the ring now. Who will advance? Sullivan needs to make a comeback if he wants to advance. Face first into the buckle. Stomping on his chest. Big elbow drop. Picking him up here. What's he going for? Reversal. Big elbow drop. Hits him with a springboard. Misses there. Guess just throwing him by the ankles. Spine busted there. He's picking him up. He's setting him up. What's he going for? And that is his finisher. And he picks up the victory. And I believe he calls that the nuclear bomb.
now we have another match in the tournament. Introducing first, standing 6-3, weighing in at 430 pounds. Here's Powerhouse from West Africa. Baba Brunch. And his opponent standing six foot weighing in 233 pounds from the wild wild west he is a striker quick draw Pete They go straight after each other. Quick draw with the quick punches. He's known for the quick striking. Bubba known for his big powerhouse moves. And using his weight as his, his advantage. Just choking him on the ropes there. Bubba picking him up. Chopping the hands on the head. Quick draw flying back. Quick draw got him in the corner. Laying in those punches once again. Baba reverses. Baba picks him up. And drops him on the top turnbuckle. Quick draw reverses. Going back with those combos of punches. Backing Bubba into the corner. But no, he lays him down with a shot. Now Quick Draw got him on the ropes. Big clothesline by Quick Draw. He back by Bubba. Busting him open. Slamming his head into the canvas. Now he's picking him up. What's he going to go for? Oh, a big splash by Bubba Brute. Going for the cover. And quick draw. Quickly kicks out. Look. Here comes the cheater. Just walking ringside. The match is still going on. What's the cheater doing? Just casually walking around the ring. Remember we've still got a match going on in the ring. Quick draw in control. The cheetah's distracted Bubba. But Bubba fights back.
quick draw with that quick combo. The cheetah couldn't very well have cost Bubba Brute this match. Quick draw, going for the cover. And no, Bubba Brute kicks out. Quick draw setting him up for something. Picking him up. Lifting him with ease. And he hits that punch. Quick draw must think it's over. Going for another cover. And yet again, Bubba Brute kicks out. They lock up. But Quick Draw can't pick him up that time. Must have taken all his strength to lift him up the first time. Big hit by, by Bubba Brute. And another hit by, by Bubba Brute. Bubba Brute setting up Quick Draw Pete. What's he going to go for? Big spike to the throat. Bubba going for the cover. And quick draw. Could not kick out that time. So Bubba Boo advances in the tournament, but we'll have to see why the cheetah came to the ringside to distract Bubba Brute. The following match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing 5-1. 87 pounds. She is a high flyer from New Zealand. Ruby Piper. And her opponent standing 5'6, weighing 142 pounds. She is a striker, also from New Zealand, Aurora Storm. In this match, we've got a battle of the females from New Zealand. Both from New Zealand. One a high flyer and one a striker. Both trying to make a name for themselves in WMD Underground. Both starting off strong. And screw by Ruby.
Dragging her to the corner. Slamming into the turnbuckle. Ruby Piper will want to use the ropes and jump off the buckles. Where Aurora Storm will look for any strike she can lay. Ruby Piper in control. Nice kick there. Reversal by Storm. Reversal. Now by Ruby. Ruby going top. No, she decides to go middle rope, lines her up, and connects with the kick right on the nose. Nice move there by Aurora Storm. Now laying in those punches. Now Storm picking up Ruby. Couple punches to the gut. Reversal. Big chop. Throwing it into the ropes. Storm just chopping her down by pulling her on the ropes. Storm to the top, she's not used to that, and it towels. That could be the opening Ruby needed. Going for the cover. Rope back. Storm got the rope break. Now they're in the corner. Ruby putting her the top rope. Going for a top rope roll up. She thinks second. And neck breaker. Now Ruby going for something, but she gets reversed. Stomps to the chest by Storm. Reversal by Ruby. And Ruby hits her finisher. Going for the cover. And it is all over. Ruby Piper picks up the victory. Combine weight 
of 515 pounds. Brett Marshall and Stephen Big Boy Watts, the Minnesota Grapplers. And their opponents in a combined weight of 416 pounds. Caveman Bone in Caveman Stone, the Stone Age. So we have Bone starting off against Brett Marshall. Back forth. And straight away Brett showing off his grappling background. His amateur wrestling will come into a factor here. Just working on every limb he can. No miss opportunities for Brett Marshall. At the moment he's working on the arm. A reversal by Bone. Another reversal by Brett. Still going back and forth here. A choke by Bone. The ref has got to stop there. But no, the ref's letting it play out. Remember, tag team matches in WMD is a 20 minute time limit. Now Stone is in the match, working on Brett, Brett will want to take in Stephen Big Boy Watts. He's going up the legs, trying to wear the legs down. Brett looks like he's going for the tag, but no, just still working on that leg.
reversal bust stone and busting brick open. Now the Stone Age keeping them in their corner. Throwing him back into the buckle. Reversal bro Brett. Picks the leg. He's got to make his way over for the tag. And here comes Steven. Big boy. Watts. Showing off his muscle. I want to jump straight in and work on his moves, but he gets reverse. Big strike there. It's not looking good for Big Boy. He got the nickname of Big Boy in his amateur days back in college. That is also where Stephen met Brett. In Minnesota. Going to tag him, Brett. Hot tag. Here comes Stone. This is a back and forth match here. No one's got clear control in this match. Brett picking up him, slamming him, taking in Big Watts again, reversal, another tag, now reversal, here comes Stone, building momentum. Reversal by Brett. Going for the cover. And Stone kicks out. Here, dropping him on the knee. What a move by Stone. Going for the cover. And Big Boy gets in and saves the match for his team. minutes left in this match. Now Bone is in. Reversal after reversal in this match. No one can gain the upper hand. Stone Age going for a double team move and throwing him back into the buckles. Picking up Brett. Brett reverses with a German suplex. Going to tag him big boy. Here comes big boy. Another reversal. Stone is back in control.
it looks like Stone's finally building momentum for his team. But no, Big Boy rolls out and close line. Here comes in Brett. Couple kicks by Brett. Bow lows up with a couple punches. Throws him over the top rope. And drop kick. Big slam there by Stone. Hi, Yoronobi there. Now Stone bringing in Big Boy into the match. Stone going for the cover. And the Stone Age pick up the victory what a hard fought match that was it was back and forth anyone could have had that match the following match is another match in the tournament introducing first standing five Eight, weighing 250 pounds. Here's the house from Buffalo, New York. Trigger. His opponent, he is a striker, standing 5'8", weighing 222 pounds, from Gold Coast Australia, Brody Ranui. Here we go with another match in the tournament. We have Trigger vs Brody Ranui. Trigger starting off quick. Going top rope straight away. Misses the knee. Big Uranagi. By trigger. Brody is from Gold Coast, Australia, and in his spare time, he likes to surf and hang out with the boys. Trigger is a former Marine. Serving his country. He's known for the ground and pound, but he'll also hit you with some big impact moves. Right into the buckle. Big throw by Brody.
slamming his head into the canvas. What's Trigger setting up for? Back suplex onto the apron. Now they're fighting out in the ring. Brody got him up against the barrier and chops him off it. Went to throw him back into the barrier, but a reversal. Tried to throw him into the steps, but Trigger stopped himself from crashing over the steps. Both men back in the ring now. Uranagi going for the cover off that and no he only gets the two count stomping in in the corner now he's pulling the fingers. Brody not one to follow with authority. Trigger driving his knee into the gut of Brody. Big kick up by Brody. Firing back. Got him in the corner, throws him to the other corner. The ref's down. Here comes the rest of the River Boys. Attacking Trigger. That could cost Trigger the match. The ref is back up now. Brody going for the cover. Can he get it? And he picks up a cheap win by interference of his brothers, the River Boys. But he will advance in the tournament for the Men's World Heavyweight Championship. The next match is scheduled for one fall and is another match in the tournament. Introducing first from Oak Park, Illinois, standing 6-1. Weighing 186 pounds, he is a high flyer, Benjamin Benali.
his opponent. He is a deathmatch wrestler, powerhouse from Yamazaka, Japan, weighing in at 376 pounds, standing 6'5. Kanto Tiko. has the height advantage in this match and the weight towering over his opponent Benjamin Bernali Canento is known for his death match is in Japan using his power but he'll also use weapons he's got scars all his, over his body from the matches he's had where Benjamin Benali is known for is skateboarding in his spare time so he risks it all and not afraid to take risks landing awkwardly all the time as he goes top rope nice man maneuver there going for the cover and a kick out Benjamin slamming his head into the ground. The power by Tinko. Tikento working on Benjamin, big kick by Benjamin. Benjamin will want to go for any strikes and kicks he can. Reversal there, just grabs him. Picking him up. Sit out, power bomb. Is that it? Benali just manages to kick out at two. Takento dropping him on the ropes. Now on the buckle, yes, he does. What's he going for? Showing off his power in this match. Another sit out power bomb. Spin out, sit out, power bomb this time, and he picks up the victory. Yeah, 
advancing in the tournament. Carnito Takaro. And that is it for the show this week. Please stay tuned for next week's show.